Today we're playing Pokemon Shiny Island, a game made for the EV Expo Game Jam. The game is based in the newly unearthed Orchard Island, where shiny Pokemon run rampant. The base shiny rate is 1 in 252, and it's our job to catch all 64 species of Pokemon that inhabit this island. There's even a select few Pokemon that can only evolve if they're shiny. Let's begin our research. Hello, welcome to the world of Pokemon, or at least to this small island. My name is Maggie, I'm the graduate assistant to Elm, the Pokemon professor. This is a Pokemon. They did the thing. And this is a shiny Pokemon. These Pokemon are very rare, almost impossibly so. After the emergence of Lugia from the depths of the Royal Islands two years ago, the ocean currents revealed a new island. This is Orchid Island. It seems to have an inordinary high population of alternatively colored Pokemon. These are also called shiny Pokemon, as they seem to reflect bright light. I'm here to study shiny Pokemon to help the professor learn more. Ever since that rampaging red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage made the news, the professor has been studying shiny Pokemon a priori. So we have set up an outpost on this island to catch as many shiny Pokemon as we can. We've cataloged 64 Pokemon here, so you will need to find all 64 of them. To get you started, you can pick one of the three shiny Pokemon I found last week. They're on the table over here. Okay, cool. We're playing as Vario. Okay, you look kinda cool. All right, what do we have here? So you want shiny Slugma, okay. Shiny Snubble or shiny Wooper. Oh man, this is a tough choice. Considering, unless there's actually custom shiny Pokemon, Shiny Quagsire is definitely the best of the bunch. All right, I gotta go Shiny Wooper. I imagine I'm gonna get all of them eventually anyway, but uh, Wooper's definitely the coolest. Wonderful. I think you should start by going out and cataloging as many Pokemon on the island as you can for catching practice. You'll need this. And I'll give you some of these. 30 Great Balls. How generous. And this special innovation of mine, the Shiny Balls. The shiny Balls work especially well on Shiny Pokemon when you find them. Good luck out there, I'll be working on different methods to increase the rate at which shiny Pokemon appear. Once your regular Pokedex reaches 40 Pokemon caught, come see me. Alright, well, we've got a we've got an objective. We've got a shiny Wooper off rip, very cool. I'm a little bit of a completionist, so uh, a little game like this uh, definitely makes my brain purr, for uh, for lack of a better word. Oh my god, Mawile, a shiny lure, okay. Hi Mawile, Mawile's in this game, I'm so happy. I came from the Hoenn region to see the shiny Pokemon. I even caught one. Ah, I got a shiny Mawile. That's awesome. Our first encounter is a Mareep. Unfortunately, not a shiny one. I mean, is it worth just catching these regular Pokemon? I mean, it probably is, right? If there's going to be better ways to get shiny Pokemon eventually, it's probably worth just padding out our Pokedex the most we can in the meantime. Another shiny lore. Okay. Trail A. Known species. Centret, Hoot Hoot, Hoppip, Skiplum. Okay. So it tells us the type of Pokemon we can find. This is Orchid Island. A shining gem of a place. All right. You know, it lures shiny Pokemon for 100 steps. Why not? Let's give it a go. I think the game wants us to do it. Do we have a shiny? No shiny. I wonder if we can cheese it at all. Seems like Mareep just lives here. So far, at least. I know in older, or at least in like Generation 3, you can like, in the Safari Zone, what I used to do is I used to just run in the in place like like that I don't, I don't know if we can do that here seems a lot harder to do here a shiny mareep to start things off would be nice though because shiny mareep is pink matching our shiny whooper so here's some fun facts the base shiny rate is one in 252 however there are different ways to boost your odds of finding shiny pokemon and there are some pokemon that only evolve if they're shiny so you i, I don't know if that means new forms or what but i'm actually really really stoked to check out this i, I like game jam games man they're super fun oh whooper evolves right away okay i thought as much that makes sense didn't really get to spend long with our whooper unfortunately but you know shiny pokemon number two for the pokedex the lure effect wore off all right we're not gonna use another one right away we didn't get anything from that but that's fine Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing that we can check out. All right. Through the power of statistics, researchers have been able to figure out the odds that Pokemon will be shiny. One in every 252 Pokemon on the island is shiny. All right, let's check out this right over here. Thankfully, the Pokemon are relatively high leveled already, so filling out the Pokedex isn't too bad right now. Oh, we have battles. Youngster Ben is going to have just a regular old Cyndaquil. Pathetic, honestly. Totodile. Hello, little man. Nice to see you here. If I lose because I got frozen by ice... Okay. And I, I miss. I love Pokemon. It's a very fair and balanced game. Oh, awesome. Three slams in a row that I've missed. Don't freeze me again, please. Okay, thank God. We land one slam. Leah Slam number two. Let's go. I really want to know what Game Freak's obsession with adding useless normal type moves. Like, why is slam just so bad? Can I come back here and heal my guys? Thanks. Come see when you've caught 40 Pokemon in your Pokedex. I'm working on something that may charm you. 
Aha. Yeah, so it seems like completing the Pokedex up to 40 is probably going to be our best way to get shiny Pokemon much easier and faster. Pair that with some uh, shiny incenses. I imagine, if I had to guess, the shiny charm would have the odds and then the shiny incense would have the odds again. Making our odds like 1 in 64 or something, which is much more doable than 1 in 252. I think that would be roughly the odds. I could be wrong. I'm just I'm just guessing and assuming. Centrit, I literally cannot attack you because you will die. Please just come with me. Centrit has been obtained. But it's not shiny, so I don't care. Yay, it's hip hop. I love hip hop. Anything to fill out the Pokedex, man. Um, I'll do what I can. Shiny Pokemon are the coolest because they look different. Oh, there's layer gen moves in here. We got acrobatics. That's exciting. Quagsire, stop letting me down, man. I'm feeling like Gary Oak right now. I chose the wrong Pokemon. All right, it's all good. We got Hop Hip. I just learned acrobatics. It's over for you, buddy. We're about to get so many friggin' evolutions. Cool guy obtained. Not so cool guy obtained. Absolute baby obtained. Another shiny lord. They're just handing these out like candy. I, I should probably wait till I get the shiny charm to use these. I don't know if they're limited. Oh, is that a shiny centroid up there? Hold on. Yo, I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, guys, gang, 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 gang. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, I don't want you. I want the pink one. Hello, guys, please. Shiny. Yippee, we got the shiny one. All right, here's the shiny ball. Of course the shiny ball's yellow, because yellow is the best color. And of course we're getting jump off now. What an absolute baby. That was one of them horde Pokemon, I guess. Horde Pokemon appear in the overworld, it seems. Another shiny lure. What's this down here? A shiny totem. What does a shiny totem do for me? I I, I can't find it in my bag. Is it here? Oh, okay, so it's like a... Is this maybe like a way to gradually increase the shiny odds? Oh my god, did they make the Pokedex? Is it like the Pokedex box actually good? All right, well, let's just get rid of the Pokemon that we don't need anymore. So uh, all the shiny, all the non-shiny guys, get out of here. I'm scared of hordes. On this island, there are bold Pokemon that wander outside of the tall grass. They're usually led by shiny Pokemon. They come right at you. It's scary. That's pretty cool. I hear there are some gym leaders in town up ahead. Everyone wants to get in on the shiny Pokemon craze. Hello. Oh, hi. How's it going? My name is Bugsy. I'm a gym leader in Johto. And as of one week ago, I am a shiny Pokemon enthusiast. In my role as gym leader, I surprise many people with the power of bug type Pokemon. Now with shiny Pokemon, they're even more surprising. Let me show you what my surprising shiny bug Pokemon can do. Hey, hey, this is a gym battle. I didn't, I'm not ready. Okay, Spinarak. Ooh, shiny Spinarak. Isn't this what like normal Spinarak used to look like? And then they like retconned it or something. I don't remember. Muddy water. Spiderweb. There's some Pokemon moves I wish just did something better. Like, what the hell is Spiderweb all about, man? I guess it's the trapping move. It's not too bad, I suppose. Pineco. That's a golden acorn. Don't explode on me. Oh, he's using spikes. Late game spikes. Always a risky move, but it may pay off. Not in this guy's case, though, because he's he's gone and we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a shiny for it which is honestly definitely like i was gonna say top 10 but that would have been an exaggeration definitely one of the better shiny pokemon out there it's definitely in the top 50 percent of shiny pokemon wow you're strong you know i'm told there are some very powerful trainers on this island they're all trying to figure out why this place is such a hotbed for shiny pokemon but me i'm just gonna add as many as i can do to my collection nice meeting you Nice meeting you too, Bugsy. Can we like rematch, maybe? Next up is Heracross. Ooh, good luck. All right, well, let's see what lives here. Pineco, just a regular boring Pineco. But still, if we want to get more shiny Pokemon, I need to add this to my Pokedex. And so you will absolutely see me catching regular boring Pineco. I got to do what I got to do, man. If you think about it, catching Pineco is like catching two Pokemon because when it evolves, we get Fortress, which is another Pokedex entry. Oh my God, Quagsire is evolving? Okay, so like I said, certain Pokemon get their own evolutions that only evolve if they're shiny. Oh my god, hello! He kind of reminds me of uh, Swampert a bit, which I mean is, is very fitting because they are based on the same thing, Axolotls. Your Shrunk evolved into Fogsire. Awesome! He wants to learn Scald. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll learn you Scald. Let's get rid of Slam, that move sucks. Dude, Fogsire is so cool! I'm so on board. I think, oh wait, Flamethrower too. Oh, hold on. Uh, are we changing types, bro? Let's get rid of Muddy Water. Hold up. We are a Water Fire type. I'm so on board with this. I saw this on Twitter that someone was making fake Pokemon that could only be obtained if you have a shiny and you evolve it. That should be a real thing in actual Pokemon. I, I'm here for it. Another shiny totem. Shiny totem number two out of eight. It seems to be the replacement for gym badges. Oh, hello. Oh my god, we got Spinarak here. Look at this pretty boy. I feel like there's no need to catch the regular boring Spinarak when we can just get the, the real deal. 
the shiny. Come here, buddy. That's what I like to see. Now, I'm going to hope and pray that they just made it so shiny balls guarantee the capture of shiny Pokemon. They didn't say that, but uh, I'm going to put words in their mouth and say that that's what it does. All of my shiny so far have been women. Are you guys noticing a trend? We're going to name you Itzy. And another shiny lore. Well, I can only assume that the other starter Pokemon must have evolutions then. Oh, hello, Heracross. Yay, Heracross was caught. I used the one and only Ultra Ball I had, but it, it's fine. Because whenever we get a shiny one, it will be a guaranteed capture with the shiny ball, I think. Spinarak is evolving into just kind of like a bigger spider. What's always interested me is that like the arachnophobia that you would usually feel from seeing a spider is removed because this thing only has well four maybe six legs i don't know what those are on the back but uh, i think if it had eight legs people would feel a lot more uncomfortable with it it's really really interesting how it works the fear is in the legs of course we have a fortress now which is nice for filling our pokedex and a super lure are you guys gonna leave me alone hello i've encountered thousands of pokemon but still no shiny i'm gonna take my frustration out on you this just reminds me of those people that like say they've been playing pokemon for 20 plus years and have never found a shiny and I'm just like, well, I mean, well, growing up for me, I found a lot of shiny Pokemon, even back when they, they were full odds. So I think it just, it's a, it's a testament to how unhealthily I probably played Pokemon compared to these guys. I think my most memorable shiny Pokemon moment was when I was younger, I was so bad at catching legendary Pokemon. I think it was just a lack of patience. Uh, but basically, if I didn't use my Master Ball on Rayquaza, I pretty much wasn't going to get it. Uh, so I only had my master ball in my i didn't have any other balls with me and i was going through victory road and i encountered a shiny aaron uh and i said you know what this is like my seventh playthrough of pokemon emerald i'm just gonna throw the master ball of this aaron here uh because you know i don't need rayquaza for the seventh time i replayed pokemon games a lot when i was younger but yeah i uh caught shiny aaron with the master ball i wish i still had it that would have been that would have been awesome but uh my first shiny pokemon which i'm actually gonna invite you guys in the comments to let me know your first shiny pokemon my first shiny Pokemon was Geodude in Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. And part of me kind of knew that it was special. I don't think I ever necessarily knew it was shiny, but I knew it was special. And uh, just to show like, you know, how the, the superstition, when I was younger, I didn't know if evolving it would return its color back to normal. So I saved my game before leveling it up and evolving it uh, to Graveler. And uh, I mean, I turned to like a darker orange and I didn't have any friends to trade with. So I was stuck as a shiny Graveler. But yeah, even even young Cal, like I wasn't. Oh, hello. I wish that were me. Even young Cal wasn't silly enough to, you know, you, you see those like, I mean, I'm sure they're just memes, but you see those like posts of someone being like, yo, what's wrong with my Latias? Why is it orange? And then they're like, oh, it's a glitch. Just reset your game. And they're like, yeah, okay, thanks. I'm sure there's been literal instances where someone sees a Pokemon that is differently colored and they're like, oh, this isn't right. What is this? Is this shiny Mistrevis? No, okay, it's not. Why is the overworld sprite like the shiny colors? I'm trying to learn Fire Punch, big guy. I'm trying to throw hands. Here, we'll get rid of Aquatail. Aquatail sucks anyway. Where's the shiny Mistrevis? Murkrow. Yay. More Pokedex fodder. Where's the shiny? Oh, there it is. Hello, come here. You're not safe from me. Shiny Misdreavus is not a nice color of yellow, I'll be honest. But I love Misdreavus, so it doesn't matter. Come with me. No! My head cannon about the ball was wrong. I'm so sad. Pain split. Oh my god, thank you. I'm gonna just throw a great ball at this one, and then once it's asleep, we're gonna try the shiny ball again. It's sleeping. I'm never getting rid of Yawn. It's gonna be such a good tool for catching all these shiny Pokemon. Please stay. Yippee! New Pokemon obtained and a new shiny obtained. All right, I'm just gonna run away from these guys. Why is there like an increasing amount of, I mean, I guess shrines for lack of a better word? <gasps> Total I lives here. Hey, buddy. What do we have? A shiny lure? I'm not using these until I can absolutely min max the hell out of them. I did not mean to one shot the Total Isle. Another super lure? What, what do these actually even do? I haven't even like looked. Oh, it greatly increases shiny Pokemon. Oh, okay. So it's like a shiny lore, but better. I mean, I feel like super lore is just like, sounds like a worse item. But I, I, oh, hello, Wooper. If I get a duplicate of you, I will be very sad. I'm not trying to do a shiny living dex out here. Hello. I want to fish for horsey in the ponds here, but I forgot my fishing rod. I've asked everybody on the island. Nobody has one. Oh, well. All right, we're out here. Doesn't really count if you get a shiny here on Orchard Island. They're not as rare here as they are back in the home Johto. But I don't have the patience to sift through over 8,000 Pokemon just to find a green barrel. <laughs> Once again, saying farewell to the non-shiny ones and welcoming another shiny Pokemon I uh, caught legitimately and didn't just find in a 
auto-generated horde. I, I earned that shiny. Shut up. Trail B, known for Meryl, Chikoria, Snubble. Got some really good Pokemon in here. Oh, hello, Meryl. Oh, wow. That must mean there's a shiny one. Oh, there is. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, come here, Meryl. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I like shiny Meryl a lot. Go to sleep. Absolute baby moment. Oh, my God. What? I didn't expect there to be more. I thought we were done out the stars. Okay. We got a, we got a fur evolution, which, wow. Uh, I don't love it. Fablet? It's not the worst though. I just think Fura is cuter. That's all. It seems level 40 might be the second evolution sort of level for some, some Pokemon. Uh, Aridos didn't evolve at 40, so I'm maybe gonna assume that it can evolve. I guess it also depends on its Pokedex placement. Yeah, it has Woofer right after, so it doesn't evolve. That would be a good way to tell if a Pokemon has an evolution after the fact, though. Actually, no, not, not at all, because Fogzar's at the end, Fablet's at the end. You know what? Never mind, ignore me. Yay, Snubble was kind. Ooh, another Shiny Totem. Shiny Totem number three obtained. Oh, it's actually number four. I missed one, apparently. How many of your Shiny Pokemon? Team Rocket may be gone, but I'm still a grunt at heart. Very own brand for them to suck. So, oh, the Intimidate. Wow, they actually implemented the ability that's so cool i like how he like sucks so bad that he doesn't have a shiny pokemon of his own he has to steal from others never mind i'm eating my words he has a shiny pokemon i repeat he has a shiny pokemon all right of course we got the uh Meryl into azumarill evolution i wonder if azumarill's in this game or if it's just a, a Meryl. uh azumarill i love the yellow shiny i do i also just love green Meryl. it's it's a tough one and then we got snubble padding our pokedex for us thank you i wonder what this thing's evolution is because it was one of the stars so it must have one i can only imagine i missed one of the uh can you stop following me must have missed the totems in uh in in the forest because there was definitely a path i didn't go down but i assumed it wouldn't have anything i like how my first shiny that is a male is called little miss I, that was not intentional oh here it is i just walked past it another shiny lure steam eruption i mean this guy is like Vulcanian, but better at this point. Oh, yay, you got a new area. Orchid Town, the outpost for all shiny Pokemon hunters. Oh, we can buy like, oh, that's awesome. Maybe we should start using these since we can just buy them. I, mean, I guess it depends, depends how permanent, I guess permanent making money is. Uh, I'll buy 10 more. Ooh, Dusk Zone, Razor Claw, Teacup. What do you want? I'm the person who invented the shiny lore. The regular shiny lore seems to triple your odds of seeing a shiny Pokemon. Super shiny lore which I'm selling out of Mart, seems to increase your odds by 12 times. Oh my God, okay. All right, we should probably be using the super lore. Oh, Pokemon Move Me next year too, that's awesome. All right, we're gonna start depositing. We're gonna do it in box 30. Oh yeah, this guy evolves with the Dusk Stone. Wait, oh my God, it looks like there's like, uh, I guess like overworld moves. So I can use Sweet Scent with Jikorita. Wait, that's so cool. I'll just buy a Dusk Stone. Ah, uh, it feels like, mm, feels like a waste of money. Especially if we're going to be evolving like a shiny Murkrow, for example. So let's maybe not waste it. A daycare man. Oh, hold on. Can we breed Pokemon here? What do you do? Daycare kid. I don't really do much around here, but you seem like a strong trainer. Do you want this Pokemon egg? I feel confident that it's a shiny Pokemon, but my grandparents don't want me to be a trainer. Uh, okay. Maybe we save and then I don't know if it's going to be like one of those special eggs from Johto. The one in 64 chances. Yeah, let's take it. Why not? I kind of feel bad that your parents don't want you to be a trainer, though. X hatch faster on this island, too. When it hatches, show me. I might reward you with something really good. All right, what is this? This place is great. It's cool to watch all the battles. Oh, is this like, can we like maybe get infinite money from here? What a cool venue for high stake battles. When are the battles going to start? Is it going to be you? Oh, I don't know. I need to get stronger so I can challenge the five trainers. I'm having a great time hanging out with my gym leader friends. I'm Whitney from Goldenrod. Are you going to challenge the trainers? I'd love to see you battle. Uh, back from Kanto, I'm water to the gym leader. But here, I'm just a spectator. Oh, okay. Is this like a, a thing I can like register for? I'm old Joe. I've been running this establishment since uh, it's probably been about a year. Strong trainers come to fight my champions who have new shiny evolution Pokemon. Each one you beat, you'll get money. But also if you beat all five in a row, you'll get some hyper shiny lures. Be warned, they are strong. Are you in? I'm going to say no for now because uh, our, I don't have like a team. All right, squad, I need y'all. Wait, Duskstone evolves Misdreavus too, doesn't it? I just remembered. It does. All right, sick. Let's get it. Yay. Let's see if Little Miss can we learn anything. Mean look, mystical fire. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. They got all the fancy moves in here. I mean, I think we just go for all the coverage moves. Let's get power gem on this bitch. I'm excited that this game's more than just shiny hunting, you know? We should probably give Crate something. This this guy literally just learns nothing. This this guy's moveset sucks. Oh, he already knows some pretty decent moves, I guess. Let's do coil rest. Yeah, let's, that, that's fine. Got to get player off on a zoom roll. All right, let's give this a shot. I want hyper lures and money. I'm the first one. You'll face my ferret evolved into this Pokemon. Good luck. 
Oh god, are we gonna get spoiled? Cool trainer ant? Oh, it's not even like a trainer. It's just like a it's just like a guy. It's not it's not like Brock, you know? Okay, level 50. Uh, do we get healed in between battles? Oh my god, that hurt. Steam eruption. Yay, the burn. I'm gonna swap into little miss. Haha. <laughs> not the rest. He's running the same set as me. Power gem. Damn, this thing is thick. Alright, hopefully two flamethrowers just outside here. Ooh, that's okay, we're gonna steam eruption. Please, ouch. Dude, this thing hits hard. Get out of here, Fablet. At least we get like a bunch of EXP for it, beating these guys too. Good God, man. This has got to be the best way to grind. Or more to go. Good game, thanks. I guess we don't get healed in between. Oh, Pseudo Widow evolution? Oh my God. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Judo Widow. Oh, he looks sick. I want this, dude. Sturdy. Unfortunately, we don't get a uh, proc or steamer option, but it's fine because we're faster and it just goes down easy peasy. Battle number three, shiny quagsire. Yeah, okay. Maybe there's only five, five of these evolutions and three of them are the starters. That would make sense, right? Oh no, wait, I forgot Wait, abilities are in this game. Yeah, wow. I forgot about that. We're both as dumb as each other. That's funny. Does he just have the same set as me? I'm just going to sack this Meganium off. We're all good. We got power gem. Die. Dude, this thing is so bulky. Oh God, are we... Are we ready to see the evolutions of the other two? All right, it's ground ball next. Uh, Ar Argaball. Oh, hello. Argaball. I'm going to guess that this thing's like a steel type. I didn't actually read the text, so I'm just guessing. Oh, it's not super effective, so maybe not. Ouch. Maybe he's a dark type? Whatever, he's gone. All right, we've got one left. Macargo evolved into this beautiful dragon. Oh my god. Dragastro. Oh wait, that's so sick. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Still doesn't stop you from being ass though to be fair i'm much higher level than you because the exp gain in this game is insane you be all of us yeah of course amazing work i'm a man of my words so take this as your prize three hyper rule hyper lures i'm back and challenge my champions again sometime hey another shiny totem all right where are we here trail c known species small blue metatite fampeen sneasel and then oh in here oh hello well another shiny totem man i wish shiny totem owl was that color of green he looks awesome Mr. Pokemon, actually the first person to discover this island even before Lugia unearths more of it through the change of the tides. This is where I would come to catch rare Pokemon to give to the professor to start younglings on their journeys. But something did change recently to make shiny Pokemon more prevalent. I have so many. I think it has to do with uh, renewed activity from the mountain. If you like one of my three shiny Pokemon, feel free to take one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, I gotta go with my boy Totodile, right? I happen to think shiny Pokemon are exactly the same as any other kind. Some I like the color better, some I not, and that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about them. I think most of the time I like regular Pokemon more than shiny Pokemon in terms of design. Oh, we've got a shiny Fampy here. Ah! Hot take, I kind of like shiny Fampy. Shiny Totodile is gorgeous though, even though he's not like green green oh here's average tusk evolving nice i love dawn fan man what a what a great pokemon oh hello swablu and there's big man oh that looks so good man i mean i, I like totodile the most out of the three but for alligator is cool especially older gen for alligator all right where are we i think we should be turning on super lures at this point i'm trying to like hoard them uh until i get the shiny charm but i, I think we're just screwing ourselves over to be honest so this is where we find cyndaquil okay if i'm doing my math right this should increase our odds to like one in 20 and oh hello shiny slugma just out in the wild like this he wanted me Mo mobile lives here mobile lives here wait what on peak larvitar skarmory okay oh the egg's hatching it's been uh it's been a little bit it did actually hatch relatively fast though considering or this is based in gen 2 right what do we have oh okay bonsly all you know is shiny snubble. And then I've got all the uh, the starters of this game. Of course, Bonsly evolves after learning Mimic, I believe, into Pseudo-Udo. Let's try the Hyper Lore. There it is. Immediately finds a shiny. I wonder what the odds are with the Hyper Lore on. That's crazy. I mean, this game isn't meant to be super long, so it's time to start locking in and just getting all the shiny Pokemon. Oh, another shiny coughing. Okay, the odds are crazy with Hyper Lures. That's definitely going to be the best way to do this. Hi, your Pokemon's more powerful than mine? I doubt that. Oh, you got a Weavile. I'm going to set your Sneasel on fire. Hot take, shiny Weavile is awesome. I don't feel like getting a duplicate Slugma right now, so I'm going to come to the peak and hopefully get like a Larvitar or something or Skarmory. Can't fight you. I got pummeled by a scary strong trainer just outside the mountain peak. Said they're close to understanding what brought the shiny anomaly. They think it's a Pokemon. Oh, shiny Ho maybe? Oh, hello, Shuckle. Yay, shiny Totem. One more. 
All right, one more hyper lore. They've not been working out that good from out. Well, there's three more. Okay, cool. <gasps> Mobile! It's a shiny one too. Let's go! I'm getting way too hype over this. I just, dude, she's so cute, man. I love her. Sorry, it's a male Mobile. He's so cute. I love him. Yippee! This is like my third one. I swear to God, man. Just in case Galarian Weezing's in the game as a separate Pokemon, I'm gonna catch another one. Yay! We're gonna get the custom Pokemon. This this thing would only happen if it was shiny. You can only get this guy. You can't get the normal looking uh, Judah Widow. Oh my god, mobiles are just running around. Another shiny coughing. <laughs> this is going to be the most painful part about this video. Hello, shiny mobile. I'll catch another one. Why not? God damn it, another duplicate. I'm going to start using super lures because the hyper lures haven't been the most friendly to me. Oh, where are we? What, what are we? Oh, that's Sinistra. Oh, hello. It's so nice to see later gen Pokemon in this art style. I'm not going to lie. All right, what does this look like in this game? Because in the main games, it's a very subtle shiny. Okay, uh, it's way different in this game than it is in the main games. They say shiny poultry guys here is much nicer looking than over in Kitakami. I've seen a pink one. Wait, what? Oh, it's the final shiny to him. Okay. God, I love shiny Skarmory. What a beautiful bird. Let's come down here. Is this going to be like looping back to the start? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Nice. This is a nice little island. I like it. We've caught 41 Pokemon and we've caught 24 shiny Pokemon. Cool. Oh. Oh, she's giving me... Oh, wait, what? I got the shiny charm. Why? I thought I needed to get more Pokemon. Am I insane? Was the number 40? For some reason, I thought it was 50. Okay, well, whatever. We got the shiny charm now. Cool. I think I can comfortably shiny hunt. Let's go ahead and get a shiny Mareep, I guess. Let's get these hyper lures on. If I'm doing my math right, the odds should be one in seven with the shiny charm and the hyper lure. Um, but I'm getting boomed by the shiny charm right now. It's booming me. Yay, let's go. Dude, it looks, it looks like cotton candy, bro. I'm hungry. Get in my belly. Well, I don't need this, but it's nice to know that my shiny charm isn't broken. I ran out of hyper lures. This game hates me. Even though the odds are really high, I'm still uh still not getting all the shinies that we want. So there seems to be maybe like a climax of like some sort of story in this game. So we're gonna we're gonna go see if we can take care of that, I guess. Oh my god, wait, what? I just found another shiny Marrow, but I'm confused. So one of them just Oh, so those ones can be shiny. Okay, that's cool. Just a regular old marrow ran into me and it ended up being shiny. I was wondering if that could happen. Yay, shiny snubble, let's go. I'm not even using hyper lures. Okay, one of the worst feelings of all time is ripping your headphones out of your ears. Or sorry, your earbuds. Shiny Flaffy time. Shiny Flaffy is always kind of mid, but it's just because Flaffy is normally pink. So like, instead of making it something cool like yellow, they just kind of make it like a, a weirder pink. I don't know. Another shiny snubble, let's go. All right, let's go Teapop. We'll evolve you with a teacup. You're no, you're no longer unremarkable or uh, remarkable. It's just a teacup. A teacup's a teacup. What can I say? Yeah. Wow, this one is pink. It actually looks really pretty. They even went out of the way to add matcha gotcha to the game. That's cool. Yeah, just, okay. I don't know if I'm doing odds right, but the odds are 252 usually. So if you divide that by three, it's 84. And then if you divide 84 by 12, I don't know if like that's... That's how the math works, though. I've got some uh, Pokemon to evolve, so I'm gonna I'm gonna battle those trainers again. But evolve these ugly guys. Here goes Slugma. I do like Shiny Macargo in this game, in the main games, and by in the main games, I mean like Generation Three onwards, where it's more pink. I don't mind that one either, but this one is this one is heat. We got coughing evolving here too. Why does he look like that? And of course we get the shiny Ampharos. I think I've told, oh wait, why do you look like, huh? You don't usually look like that. I mean, I, I, I'm down for it. You look cool. But I swear to God, you don't normally look like that. When I was younger, I did not put two and two together that Flaffy and Ampharos were in the same evolution line because my only like time I ever saw those Pokemon was in Pokemon Emerald, like the post game thing. I'd never played Johto before at that point, so I had no idea that those Pokemon were evolutions of each other. And then of course here is Bl uh, Binky evolving into Dragastro. Very, very cool evolution. Honestly, I could see this being a real Pokemon. I feel like this is the most like realistic out of the uh, the star Pokemon. And then there's Grand Bull as well. This one probably the least realistic, but uh, I mean, I'd always be done for a Grand Bull evolution. I feel like Grand Bull deserves a little bit of love, you know? Arguable. He's learning Crunch, so I can only imagine he's a very dark type, which is fitting. Yay, shiny Cyndaquil. Oh, hello. We've almost figured out what's going on with shiny anomaly, but to be up here with us, you need to prove your worth. Oh, hello. Oh, it's, oh, it's Brawly. Wow. With a shiny Metatom. 
Level 70, okay, They're, they really want you to game. Bye bye. I love Palava, man. Gen 2 starters are all peak, man. They're like such a good group of starters. Oh, thanks. Master, master, master lures? There's more? Exponentially? Whoa. I didn't think I could get that. I mean, super lures have been working fine for me. Hyper, I mean, I feel like super lures have been working better than hyper lures. I'm not gonna lie. Yay, shiny Larvitar. And of course we got Typhlosion. When I was younger, like, like nine years old, I, I was a big fan of Cyndaquil and I used to like, I guess, you know, when you're, when you're playing with your friends, you know, you're, you're like playing, I don't know what you call it. You're just like, oh, we're, let's pretend we have Pokemon. My Cyndaquil had blue flames. I, I, had, I had a blue flame Cyndaquil. Whoa, you got all the way up here. How cool. If you can't beat me, I'm going to ask you to go back down though. It's only fair. How is, how is that only fair? What are you in? Why are you involved with this, Jasmine? Do better. Nice choice in shiny though. You're tough. Take this. Oh, thanks. Shiny balls. Yay. She just talked about going near the. It's causing electrical malfunctions on her equipment. It must be an electric type. She's talking about going near the beast. You child. Do not go any further. The power of the Pokemon causing the anomaly is too strong. I wonder if it's gonna be like a custom Pokemon. Proceed at your own risk. I have these. Thanks. Do I need this for the for the Pokemon or like the Pokemon has altered this island to produce more alternatively colored Pokemon. It doesn't seem to be harming the environment though. You've made it to the end. Yes, here is where the stakes are. Okay, uh, we shall see if you're ready to take on the beast. Okay. Who is this? Is this blue? No, it's Looker. Oh my god. Okay. He's got a Noctowl. Of course, Looker has the lamest Pokemon. The music kind of goes hard though. God damn it. Not the roost. Trunk, wake up. Thank you. Of course you miss, of course. Stop roosting! Stop roosting! <laughs> Thank you. Incroyable? Of course you would say a word like incroyable. Well, go on, take on the beast. It is clearly what is causing the increase in shiny Pokemon. Perhaps it is the king of this island or something to that effect. Yes, I'm sure you can earn its respect. Cool, thanks for more la master lures. Good luck, thank you. Oh, hello. It seems to be Raikou. I'm just gonna assume that we need to turn on the master lure for it to be shiny. Actually, is this, is it shiny naturally? It is shiny naturally. Okay, we don't have to turn on the master ruler. Never mind. I missed my last theme eruption. I'm I'm so upset. So is this just like the main big bad of the game? Oh, I didn't mean no, don't burn. Don't thank god, thank god, thank god. Alright, we got shiny balls. Let's get it. You're a shiny kitty cat. Come with me. He's giving me a, a hard time. God damn it. Yay, let's go. That one was actually quite tough. I mean it's fitting because it's a legendary. So how does Raikou make everything shiny? You just said good luck. That was it. Okay. Let's try and do the master lore. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I thought the master lore would maybe be like guaranteed shiny Pokemon, but no, not guaranteed. All there's left to do now is to finish our shiny decks. Shiny duplicates are the most painful part of this. I found two guys and now a Sudowoodo. I just want a shiny dry. Oh, there it is. Hello, shiny drowsy. Yippee. So we're mostly going to be looking for Pinaco and Murkrow here. God f***ing damn it. Yay, let's go. I actually kind of like this. Please don't be difficult. Yippee. And I prepared the Dusk Zone so we can evolve him into Honchkrow right away. Honchkrow goes so hard in Gen 2. That's my goat. God damn it. There is something unique about hunting in Generation 2 because the Pokemon come in in grayscale first and then, you know, you get the, the jump scare. Uh, but with certain shiny Pokemon, you can actually tell if they're going to be shiny beforehand because you can make a Pokemon black and white, but it doesn't mean it's going to be the same, you know, I guess, contrast. For example, Toldenile shiny uh, comes in lighter than his non-shiny in the grayscale. Like, it, it just, it, it's two different colors. Unfortunately, we have not been able to find Pinaco yet, but I'm gonna keep looking. But yeah, the same same goes for Misdreavus. Misdreavus comes in lighter than, uh, like, this is not shiny. I know this is not shiny because it's purple, and then obviously the, the shiny one is yellow, so when it's grayscaled, it's, it's lighter. And you, you can already tell beforehand, and it's it's painful. With Murkrow, you cannot tell. It's It's just too dark. Yay, shiny Heracross. That's a rare one, right? So many pink shinies in older generations. I don't mind them on unique Pokemon, like say like Heracross, uh, Murkrow, uh, but like I think for water types, it's just kind of like played out. There's just so many pink shiny water types. Yay, let's go, I'm free. Dude, this looks gorgeous. It's so crazy that these sprites are only comprised of four colors, black, white, and then just two other colors. It, it looks so much more detailed than that. It's, oh God, it's gorgeous. Another one. Are you serious? It comes in waves. Yay, dude, it took me so long to get this. I've been sitting here for 22 minutes. The shiny odds are meant to be insane. Don't give me a hard time, Chikorita. I wish I was you guys watching at home. You guys just immediately get the shiny. I, 
I have to sit through this. I can't cheat. This is a this is a game, uh, a gamer jam game. I forget what they're called. Finally got big man drowsy evolving into bigger man hypno. The fire red leaf green really did like irreparable damage to this guy's image. He's like much more pink than I remember. Heineko evolving into fortress. Uh, fortress definitely got one of the biggest glow ups. Ew, why does he brother? Ew. He looks so good in Scarlet and Violet, man. What a glow up. Chikoria evolving into bay leaf. I feel like it's shiny's not as good. Uh, uh, eh. Yeah, I don't know. And then Larvitar evolving into Pupitar. Yeah, I forgot that this guy evolved. I should probably pick him up, huh? Yay. It always blows my mind to see that like the purple Pupitar can be like seen in Tyranitar's chest or whatever, whenever he evolves or maybe it's his tummy. Even like the non-shiny one, it's the same color. It's really, really cool. And here's everybody's favorite star Pokemon, Meganium. Yeah, this shiny not really doing this thing any favors. I do like where uh, Bayleaf and Chikori are going with the autumn colors. I feel like grass types getting autumn colors. It's uh, it's very cool. And you know, I feel like we should do that for more shinies. But yeah, this thing uh, this thing was a victim to the, I guess, the, 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 the automatic shiny generator that Game Freak had back in the day. I assume it's common knowledge, uh, but I mean, there's so many new people that consume Pokemon content these days. I think Loxton made a video on it, but basically like shiny Pokemon were determined by like an algorithm pretty much. And now I think as of, I think as of generation six, they actually started choosing the colors manually, which, you know, begs the question, why do so many shiny Pokemon in generation nine suck ass? Yay, that wouldn't take long at all. This is my second time ever seeing a Meditite, I think. Yay! I could tell that one was shiny. Oh my god. Finally, the shiny luck has has cometh round. It's like the second Sneasel I've ever seen as well. Razor Claw. Can we just can we oh hold on. I guess it has to be a held item. Another one. Let's go! Dude, it's so weird seeing like the yellow on its wings. But it's it like it's just the sprite limitation. It's so awesome though. See with Gen 1 and 2 Pokemon, you're used to it, but Gen 3 Pokemon were never in this style officially, so it's it's original. Another one bites the dust. Yay, Shuckle! I've grown to really like Shuckle, I'm not gonna lie. I did a mono rock run in Poke Rogue, and uh Shuckle was the star of the show, let me tell you. That bug type is working overtime to resist grass and fighting types. And now uh, Pupitar is going to evolve into Tavanatar. Look at his chest. It's going to be purple. Well, okay. It's it's more his belly, I guess. And uh, I forgot that there's only two colors on these guys. But yeah, isn't that sick? Metathite is going to evolve. Shiny Metacham, of course, is now blue instead of red. Uh, I mean, in that regard, they kind of swapped colors. I mean, not exactly, but kind of. I like my I like Shiny Metacham. Uh, Sneasel does just, in fact, have to hold the uh, the claw item and then level it up once and it will evolve. Shiny Weavile is great. What a pretty shiny. And then we've got Swablu evolving into Altaria, which we haven't seen yet in this game, but it looks phenomenal. Absolutely love her. So we just need six more shiny Pokemon and uh, just one more Pokemon, period. And uh, the only Pokemon I don't own uh, is Skarmory. So we've seen the rest of them. So let's try and get a shiny Skarmory, I guess. Yay! Oh my god, dude. I'm too lazy to go get more Hyper Lures. So I'm literally just standing here using Super Lures like a pleb. I'm probably going to go get Hyper Lures after this. Oh, I need more shiny balls too. I keep forgetting. Uh, but yeah, shiny Skarmory is a very good example of the the two colors being a thing. Because, you know, usually Skarmory's got a little bit more going on than just having green. But yeah, no, very, very pretty shiny. God damn it, Skarmory. All right, let's go. Caught him in an Ultra Ball instead of a Shiny Ball. So I worked out the last two we need are Hoppip and Hoot Hoot, which are two from the start. Oh my God, dude, this is my second encounter. It's like 11 p.m. at night. I'm listening to spooky videos and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna find these last two Shinies. Second encounter. All right, well, we just need one more Shiny, then we gotta evolve these guys and that'll be a complete Shiny Dex. Oh wow, I did not expect that. I was expecting like the shade of its body and the grayscale part to be like lighter. I, I, I'm just so used to it being such a bright green. And there we have it. This is the last shiny Pokemon we need. I want you to know I've been procrastinating doing this all day and I, with just this recording session, have got the last two shinies I needed within two and a half minutes. Procrastinated all day. 
two and a half minutes. That's just how RNG works, baby. Who who levels up, which is gonna oh and hop up. So that's gonna be two more Pokemon to the Pokedex. Shiny Noctowl, it's a classic. It's not a good shiny, but Ash had one in the anime apparently. And then Hop It, which uh swapped colors with Skip Loom, who's gonna be pink now. Yeah, it's a lot darker than I remember. Is this its official shiny? It is actually. Wow. In the later games it becomes much lighter. What the hell? For some reason I thought Skip Loom evolved at level 30. Am I am I delusional? Either yo. Jump Luff looks amazing. What a great shiny. Oh, it's level 27 it evolves. How do I forget that? 27 is literally my favorite number. Well, just like that, we have completed our shiny decks in Pokemon Shiny Island. I decided to do all of this despite there being no new Pokemon for me to see because I wanted to know what happens if you finish your Pokedex in this game. Let's march in here and uh, let them know. Let me check your decks. Current number caught Pokemon 64. Current number shiny Pokemon caught is 64. I wish I had more things to give you, but it seems to be crushing on your own. Best of luck filling your decks doing all the shiny Pokemon. Do I do I not have them all? Oh, a manageable Pokedex of 64. And later on it says, if you're able to get all 69 shiny Pokemon, let us know. So there's five other shiny Pokemon we don't have yet. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then five. I was wondering why on earth there was missing pages in the Pokedex, but that explains it. Oh my God we're not done so i mean just based on the pokedex i can only assume that azuril is one of the missing pokemon which i imagine we have to breed for which is probably why there's a c incense oh that checks out oh it's making a lot of sense but if that's the case i feel like they would give you ditto in this game no and come to think of it there was someone in this forest that mentioned horsey but i i never ended up getting horsey or seeing one for that matter so I just assumed, hey, it must just be like a funny haha, -ha, you know, like, oh, there's reference of Pokemon that's not actually in the game, but there's Pokedex slots that are empty. It's got to be a Zuril, and I'm thinking it might be the horsey line. And then that leaves one Pokedex slot left. I want to fish for the horsey in the ponds here, but I forgot my fishing rod. I asked everybody on this island. Nobody has one. Oh, well, well, I want to buy the sea incense. I was wondering why that was here. Oh, 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 okay. So there isn't a fishing rod. She just wants a Skarmory. Doesn't have to be a shiny one. She just likes Skarmory. Well, I have a shiny Skarmory that she can have. I don't need it anymore. All right, here you go. Take the Skarmory. And then we get shiny Seedra. Oh, and then it evolves immediately. Oh, I see what's happening here. We have to breed for shiny horsey. That's insane. Okay, Azumarill and Kingdra share an egg group. Is my Kingdra a male or female though? It is a male. Okay, so these two can breed technically, but I don't, I, I, I need a ditto to get. There's no way they expect me to breed for a shiny horsey without a female Kingdra if ditto doesn't exist in this game. Yeah, please. Let's try going for shiny Azuril or just Azuril in general. Oh, you want to see the hash Pokemon in the egg? Yeah, let's do it. This guy. Yeah, and that was Azuril Widow. Okay, I told you. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> well, that... <laughs> That explains the shiny ditto too. Awesome. Okay. When a parent is shiny on this island, the egg has a much higher chance of being shiny too. Thanks for showing me what is in the egg. Okay. Well, last two things I need to do is breed for shiny horsey and shiny Azuril. These guys breed fast. This might be like faster than a ditto were to be doing it because I know like breeding with ditto is uh it's slower. So I'm going to just try this method and then I'm eventually going to I'll use, you know, whenever I get a shiny Azuril, I will do shiny Ditto plus Kingdra. I'm going to assume Flame Body works in this game, and I'm going to add that guy to my team. I can't believe this game's got me Masuda hunting, man. Are you kidding me? First egg down. At least we can count these encounters. Just a normal Azuril. Oh my god. Number three got the shiny. Hell yeah. That wasn't so bad now, was it? And we got another one on shiny or an egg number five. Okay, cool. All right, we're putting the ditto in the daycare with the Kingdra, and hopefully we should have a shiny horsey uh, relatively quickly. Horsey egg number one. These guys definitely breed a lot slower. Just a regular old horsey. That's fine. Oh my god. Horsey number two. There it is. I'm free. I'm actually free. Obviously, the shiny odds are way boosted, but like a game where like you have to shiny hunt that's they're just respecting your time let's be honest well 
all we can do now is run back and see what our reward is for 69 out of 69. All right, here we are. Card number of Pokemon caught 69. Card number of shiny Pokemon caught 69. You did it. You actually got all 69 shiny Pokemon. Truly done something magnificent. Thank you for completing the game to its fullest. Team Star Tango. Is that, is that it? <laughs> At least they acknowledged it, I suppose. So I got curious because the Pokey, or well, sorry, the EV Expo page says that there's a true ending. And uh, would you look at that? Hmm. Oh, I'm Evan. You must be Vario. Shiny Island. What a labor of love. You really did it. Caught every shiny on the island. Well, for now that is. Take care. And I hope you had fun. Huh. I was expecting a battle, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's gonna be like a, a bigger project, which if that's the case, I'm totally down. I really enjoy uh, this game though. Uh, it was a nice little experience. I just think the idea of there being like an area in Pokemon where like shiny Pokemon are more frequent for some reason is really cool. And also like the tie-in to like Lugia and stuff like that. It was just a really neat concept. But yeah, besides that, thank you for watching at home. I appreciate your viewership. I hope you enjoyed.